Okay guys, this week's blog is for the gentlemen and it's just between us guys. As much as it pains me to do so, I am compelled to suggest taking your lady to a chick flick. If you're like me, the thought of sitting through a romantic movie is about as appealing as a dentist appointment. But a lot of women love them. I recently took you know who to see Think Like a Man after realizing how much it would mean to her if I took her to see these types of movies. I got the hint because she keeps renting them. It took me a few years to get the message and now I'm on the job. After all, keeping my lady happy helps keep me happy. Admittedly, there were a few entertaining parts of the movie, but only a few. On a scale of one to 10, I give it a six. But while I was only mildly entertained, she loved it. She got so into it laughing and giggling through the whole thing. Shoot, my entertainment came from watching her. So here's my suggestion. If there's a new chick flick coming out that you think your sweetheart might wanna see, tell her in advance that you'd like to take her. This shows that you're thinking about her and would like to spend time together doing something she wants to do. Then, when the movie comes out, check her schedule and make the arrangements. You want the experience to be as fun and stress-free as possible for her. That means you get the tickets, make dinner reservations, and if you have kids, work out the babysitting. If you really don't want to see the movie, you don't have to watch. Just pack a neck pillow and a small blanket, supply her with some popcorn and nachos, and a slushie, and catch up on your Z's. She'll most likely appreciate you getting off the couch and escorting her, even if you do watch the movie from the back of your eyelids. One word of advice though, before you plan the evening, make sure she actually likes chick flicks. If you don't already know her preference, check her DVD collection, Netflix queue, or Facebook page. Otherwise, you'll be sitting through a romantic comedy for no good reason. Well, gentlemen, it worked for me. My mate was still giddy when we got home, earning me a great meal and an outstanding foot rub. I hope it works for you too. Little efforts that show you're listening and picking up on unspoken cues are powerful. Until next time, keep rising. This is Frank Love.